we bring uh very difficult question to answer. Yeah, it difficult, is, difficult. I've been asked that question before, I don't like it either. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I bring to the table. I think if if I got asked that, I would definitely be looking the other way. You wouldn't be getting a second date from me, put it that way. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, men don't ask women that, because men don't really care. But they are think. asking women nah, that. That's, nah, that's the point. Yes, they, they are. Not really, not, not, not man them. You I see me, I blame Cardi B, I blame Nicki Minaj, <laughs> I blame all of them because a lot of females nowadays they look at those type of women and they're, because they're like doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. Hey. Why? Why? I yeah, I get offended. You can ask me what I would I bring get offended. to the table, but I can't see what you bring to the table. Welcome to Pillow Talks, guys. Today we have a very special guest, Mr. Junior Booker. Hello. Hi, Junior. Hi. How you doing? Good, good. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. And we have the lovely Mike. You're right. How's everybody? Welcome today? to the Mandem Podcast. Come on, MTM Podcast. Okay, guys. Are you guys ready for today's topic? Bring it on. So this is part two to what do men bring to the table? So we had. A group of g girls discussed um, in the reverse what women bring to the table. So I wanted to bring you guys on to give your opinion on how you feel about that question when it is brought to you. Because from my point of view, that question gave me a bit of a, a irk. I, didn't, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like being asked that question. I've never been asked that question, thank God. But when I heard that this question was c circling around social media, it kind of made me want to actually speak on it, but I really wanted to get you guys' opinion. So, what are you saying, Junior? What do men bring to the table? Um, well, what should men bring to the table? That's a different question, but what do men, I don't know, we, we bring, uh, it's a very difficult question to answer. Yeah, it is, Difficult, isn't it? difficult. I've been asked that question before, I don't like it either. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I bring to the table, but other men, have different things they can bring to different the different tables, different situations. Um, they should bring security, um, money, and strength. By two thousand twenty-one, a lot of women are stronger than men nowadays. So, kind of the gender roles have been reversed. Kind of turned on its head. So yeah, they've been reversed. So um, I know what I bring to a table when I enter a dining room. If you can use that metaphor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone's different. Do you feel like, like you sort of just expressed, um, the gender roles have kind of been reversed? Do you feel like that makes it harder for a man to be a man and to even deliver? Do you feel like that has been taken away from you? Some men don't want to be men nowadays. You've got, you know, you've got sure. guys just being, <laughs> acting like girls a lot of the times. Girls are taking guys out. Girls are chatting up guys. Girls are moving the guys in the street. Girls are controlling men. So are you saying that it's our fault? Are you saying that, are you saying that we've kind yeah, of put this well, on ourselves? Yeah. Well, kind of, it's not your fault, but you kind of allow a man to be a bit submissive and docile, and you let them and you dominate him. So you, some some women emasculate men. I've seen it really? every day. How do you, oh like, do this for me? Do that for me? Do this? Oh yes, yes, yes. I'll do that. Yes, would you? Yes, yeah, yes. but isn't go sorry. shop for me? Okay, sorry, sorry, right, sorry, right. sorry, 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 sorry. Women demasculate men. Demasculate, yeah. But sorry, doesn't the man have to? A man, want, doesn't he have to want to be that way? Doesn't can't he be have, a man It now. takes for you to do that. You can say no, right? You're not allowed to be a man most of the time. What do you mean you're society? not allowed to be a, a man? Don't, a lot of females nowadays don't allow us to do manly stuff. Yeah. I try to hold the door open. Uh, hold, help a girl with her bags. No, I can do it. Myself. I'm yeah. just trying to help. I'm trying to be a gentleman. I'm trying to be chivalrous. But girls don't even want that nowadays. They just. What, why? Why do? From what? From your perspective, why do you think women are like that? Because girls. Because I can give you some insight into girls that. Girls like, like to, to be know your women. Like to be like to see themselves as independent. Like I don't need no man. I don't need no man. I need deep down they need they want a man. They need a man, but they want to act like they don't need a man. A lot of women. They yeah, can't get the man they want, so they get no man, and they're like I don't need a man. I don't need a man, but deep down they want they want a man. 
Mike. You see me, I blame Cardi B, I blame Nicki Minaj, <laughs> I blame all of them because a lot of females nowadays, they look at those type of women and that because they're like doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. Type of thing, so they just want to emulate. What, what do like you they're mean? they're doing bits for themselves. They're doing they're doing good for themselves. Okay. But obviously, what 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 are like normal like working females don't understand is that like they're like they're like superstars. Yeah. You get so their money is different. They don't live in the real world. Do you get right? it? They live like in a they live their world. Social media makes like a lot of females live through like these big like yeah celebrities. If that makes sense. No, definitely. I remember there was a, um there was a video of. Cardi B, I think she was cooking and cleaning, and she says in one of her tracks, "I don't, I don't cook, cook, I don't, I don't clean,", clean. Yeah. which is a total you lie because because she does. But then you've got females who follow that and think that's you know that you should that's never your follow life. these rappers or singers and what they're doing. Men and women shouldn't be following mm. rappers, and we should be looking at the doctors and lawyers and teachers. Shouldn't we looking at the Cardi B or Offset or the Migos or whoever like that? That's just entertainment. Yeah, I knew from a young age what Eminem or Jay-Z was saying, that's not how I want to live my life. I didn't want to be out there selling drugs or doing X, Y, Z. I was in school. I was happy to be in school. But when I came home from school, I'd put on some Eminem or some Buster Rhymes or Deluxe or whoever, Biggie, Tupac. Mm -hmm. Because it's fun. It's good music. The beat sounds good. You can dance to it. But that's not how you should be living your life. And these girls, listen to Cardi B. Cardi B is very toxic. She's very, 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 very negative stereotypes she puts out there. I like her music. Yeah. I don't like her as a person. I don't like the way she talks. I don't like the way she speaks. I don't like the way she dresses. The way she, she's a stripper. Term stripper. Then she put onto love and hip hop. Then she, that's not a good way to be living your life. So really. do you feel like women are looking up to the wrong sort of role models? Yeah. And 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 because of that, we are not giving the men the room to actually be the man and to actually bring something to the table. Yeah, it's true. And being a man's not easy. So if a woman, if I'm with a woman and she wants to be the man, I'll let her. She wants to pay the bills, I'll let her. She Why? Because it saves me money. <laughs> like, first and foremost, I don't have to spend so much money. That's great. She can book all the restaurants, book all the holidays. She can do all that. And then it's just easy. So one of our female panelists was saying that that question about what do women bring to the table, that sort of shows. It says a lot about the person asking, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Basically. Exactly. Um, but yeah, real, recognise real, so. The type of man that, that, or the type of person that that man is in respect to even having that question floating around in a relationship. Do you feel like when you have a relationship or when you meet somebody, do you think that is a valid question to ask a woman? No, it's more of a woman asking a man because a man should bring something to the table. That's like more of what men do. Do you know what's so crazy, yeah? Do you know if you ask a woman that, they would, sometimes they get offended? I don't oh, know why. They always get offended. Well, you don't make no I wouldn't ask them hey. why. Why? I wouldn't yeah, ask I get them. offended. You can ask me what I, I bring to offended. the table, but I can't ask you what you bring to the table. Because that's a, I feel like that's a very masculine, sort of unloving question. And when you're, I know obviously, when you're with someone, it is a partnership. You are supposed to be part of a team. And is that the most sort of, I don't, I don't know what word that I would use. Is, is that question going to help you to be in a nurturing relationship? Or is that, it's, I just find it very, very hostile. A lot of hostile women would ask that question. It's a host, it is a hostile question. Now you mentioned, it is. You mentioned that it like it's a team, right? Yeah. So, for example, in a football team, there's, there's, there's an attacker, there's a striker. They bring different things to the table, to, to yeah, the team, right? Yeah, absolutely, so absolutely. So, me asking you what you bring to the table, you shouldn't be offended. Like, I might bring financial stability. You might bring... But this, is, but this is my point. We're a team, right? Yeah, but this is my point. Why do we have to ask those questions? How is that, how is that the, the right way to start a relationship? Sometimes that people want to know where this is going. Sometimes women ask me on a first date, where do you see this going? Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where do you see seven, five years? Do you yeah. want kids? Do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want that? And you can ask one of the questions what you want. I'll divert or avoid the questions if I can. I don't like those questions. I'll make jokes. <laughs> I'll already see someone five years. I'll see myself being 40. That's the kind of thing I would say, that kind that's of question. That's stuff puts yeah. me off. Yeah, yeah but I'll, I'll entertain her because it's a date. I'm not trying to have a 
Uh, I'm, we're here, innit? So I'll entertain you. We can answer this question. Then we'll go back to the yard later and see what I want. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, like that. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, but women do like to ask those kind of... Qu- I've been in many dates in my times and I get those questions. I've got answers locked in already for those kind of questions. I'm ready. Do you think it's a good... Opener for like a first date. It isn't. It isn't. It, isn't. it puts men off. It's We're, a it's a killjoy, it's right? A 100%. But that's how women feel as well. And I feel like with women, obviously, we are more. We're feminine. We have a feminine nature. We are more loving. We are more nurturing. We are, you know, very. We're very soft. Mm. That is that is our nature. And I feel like I just that question for me. I think if if I got asked that, I would definitely be looking the other way. You wouldn't be getting a second date from me, put it that way. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, men don't ask women that because men don't really care. But what they are do. asking women nah, that. That's, nah, that's the point. Yes, they're, they are. Well, not really. Not, not, not man them. Um, <laughs> 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 there's a certain other kind of men out there that don't really interact with. The men I know, we don't ask girls. We ask girls like, oh, what's your favourite movie? Things like this basic <laughs> question. Trying to keep it like calm on the first date, and then we'll yeah. see how. It, we'll, men like to see how things go, in it. Let's so, just see. Let's so not make no promises. Let's just trust let's the not, process. Yeah, trust the process. Like it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a younger generation that's sort of floating around that question. Or do you feel like it's a, it's an, uh, the older generation? Definitely a younger generation. Like I said, because of social media. Yeah. Yeah. They they want to live that life, innit? They want to yeah. emulate. They they want to be like Cardi B and Offset. Yeah, they, they want to be like Beyonce and V, so yeah. they want to know what you can add to my life. And can you take me to Dubai? Do you can you do this? Can you do that? Older yeah. women, they got them stuff unlocked, so they're, they're like, like oh, see, see me, I prefer older women. Yeah, older yeah. women just simple. Mm. They, you know what I mean? Like they're just mm. easy going. So you wouldn't have to ask that question. No, nah. they're freaks yeah. as well. Older women, trust me, <laughs> they're more freaky. <laughs> trust me. Yeah. Would you they're say they're freaks? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. These young girls is later. These yeah. older girls, yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. 45 plus. So yeah, I had, I had this, um, I was talking about this with one of my male friends and he put it in a very <laughs> different way and he, was, he basically said all women bring to the table is sex. And I was just... Just about as well nowadays. <laughs> so many girls just just about, about. I was absolutely mortified by this and, you know, I, I, I kind of asked him, like, why do, you, why do you feel that way? And he was like, well, that, that is just the type of women that I come across. And like I said before, well... Bro, you need to look at the women that you're dating because not all women are like that. And it even made me feel like, I didn't say this to him, but I, in my head I thought, how do you feel about your mother? Like, why do you have that perception of women, you know, are only good for, for one thing and they don't really bring much else to the table? So that's why I was kind of really That's toxic masculinity, doing, though. That's, yeah, I wanted to do this, that. This, this, this talk, this, this actual topic because of that one conversation that I had. Because I just found found it absolutely mind blowing. Because he's got like an old school toxic mindset. A lot of guys do he's think that as well. He's quite young as well. Before. He's like thirty. He? Listen, his mindset is old school because he's not respected. If he's saying that, he's not respected because women bring a lot more to the table than Thank the you, sex. Thank you, Junior. Ah. They bring money. You they, heard it here. They bring. You heard it here first. We bring a lot to the table. Most of them got, they got cars. So. Most of them got cars nowadays, so they can drive you around. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> And they've got their own place. You just, and, uh, you just killed it right there. What do you mean? That's what. <laughs> yeah, that's bringing, bringing a lot to yeah, the table. Because the table. <laughs> back in the days, it, it, it yeah. used to be like that. Yeah, it used to be like, yeah. So, like, no. so, yeah. so do you prefer this new age sort of female, this new independent female? Is it less, does it make it less stressful for you in, in regards to having to have that, that old sort of way of thinking, I have to bring the money in, I have to you know, look after the family and I have to be the protector. Do you, does that role no longer exist? It exists. It, 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 it still exists. Though, because that's right what I, that is what I would feel, that is what I would want when, if I was asking a man, what are you bringing to the table? Those are the sort of qualities and skills that I would be looking for in a man. In the perfect world, then that's what a man would bring and a woman would just be at home doing the domestic stuff. I think it's changed now. Women have jobs, women have cars, women have their own place. Women have their stuff on lot more than men. A lot of guys out there who are just lost from young, right. they've been on the roads, don't know what they're doing. Girls from young, they were taught how to keep a home. 
when when you when girls have toys, they got like little teapot sets and little cooker sets. Yeah. The man them have turtles. We're just banging the turtles <laughs> against yeah, each turtles. other. That's what he was doing. You have guns. Yeah, guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was doing yeah. nothing <laughs> growing up. So we was talking. Someone had power Yeah. <laughs> so it's changed. Nothing. It's literally. Yeah. So you say te- technology has changed with the times, and so so have we, I guess. Listen, I got um, I got nephews, and I see how they are. They're just they're more free. But yeah. young girls are more like structured. They like to like read and write. Young boys, <laughs> they just want to like play wrestling. Like, come June, let's play wrestling. I'm like, can you want to like talk or read a book? No, no, it's wrestle, wrestle. I'm like, not wrestling. You're getting too big as well to wrestle me. You're hurting my back. I'm not wrestling you no more. I'm not doing it. So that's what, oh, from dear. young, that's old as well. When I was young, I wanted to play turtles, play Power Rangers. I've dressed up as a turtle. I was Donatello. I'm like, Donatello, I'm Donatello. I know what I was doing. So I was like 16, I thought I was Donatello. Then I left school, I was like, okay, I'm not a turtle. I'm like, I need to get a job now. Right? So, I didn't have a proper job till I was like 18, 19. But you're still, you're still old school, like you still want to be, you know, the nurturer, the protector. And I, ideally. But you, but you don't mind. I want to I wanna provide woman my woman, that's what I want to well. do. But my bank account is saying, bruv, you can't do that. So <laughs> I can't. I've got to live within my means. I can't. If we're going out, we have got to go somewhere cheap. If you, if I'm paying for it. Yeah, but that's that's still. I mean, we're going to the park. But if you're paying yeah, well for you, it, you you just need to pick a girl that likes to go to the park, likes nature. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not and a problem. And I will find that girl. I put it on my Hinge profile. I like going to the park. What are you saying? Isn't it? But I don't. I don't like to go. I tell them from the first date. I ain't got. I ain't got much money. You know, honest. I ain't got much money. And I will ride a bike. Bicycle. You want to get on the back of my bike? I'm about to lose some weight, but <laughs> it's all love. Well, You've got to let these girls know. Good. A lot of guys are lying to, to girls, yeah, and they're wearing like Gucci and Prada. That's their month's rent. So that's where all the money's gone now. Yeah, Just people to are trying the to girl. keep up yeah. um, appearances. So when it comes to the date, the money's run out. So. I keep man them, just keep it real with girls. Let them know, and girls don't mind it as long as you're honest yeah. and you're real and you're a nice person. Girls, most girls ain't gold diggers. They don't mind if you're, as long as you're, you're a good heart. They don't yeah. mind if you ain't got much money. Yeah. So, but a lot of guys think that's the way to be, to get girls, and it's not. Michael, what's your last word on mm? this subject? What do men bring to the table? Uh, kind of what you said, like, do you know what I mean? Uh, I think I think I think I think we we bring we bring a lot to we bring a lot to the table. I think both parties bring a lot to the table. Yeah, it's just it's just sometimes because of social media and the communication is it's, it's, it's has, a bit failing us yeah. at the moment. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think I think we need to communicate better um, with each other and yeah. stop all the outside noise because there there is so much outside noise, yeah. you know, and I think it's kind of tearing the real core of what a relationship should be. Yeah, because you, you, you'll, be, you'll be in a relationship with somebody, but it's like two other people that's in a relationship with you. Mm. you know what I mean, so... No, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I want to say that women are amazing. Where's the camera? Is this camera? It's, this women... I said some hard stuff earlier. <laughs> women are amazing, and they normally bring more to the table than men. Right, right. And, yeah, men, we've got to fix up and bring more to the table. But women, stop asking us what we bring. We don't like that question. So try not to ask that too much. Too much um, pressure. Too much pressure. We don't like pressure. We don't like it. Yeah. yeah so we, yeah. we all just want a quiet life, isn't it? Yeah. We want we want someone who's not gonna sort of um, be too too noisy, do too much. So yeah. yeah I guess. Well, past a certain age. Yeah. When I was in my twenties, I worked like a wild. But now I'm past my thirties. I want a quiet life. So yeah. So it just depends. It's all about compatibility. Oof. Just meet the right person. Yeah. yeah. I think I think ultimately we need to let men be men and we need to get back to this is just my personal opinion. We need to get back to being women and having that feminine energy and just, you know, being submissive when we need to be and just, you know, lo- loving each other and not seeing everything as some sort of business deal, even though, you know, marriage is a business deal when you actually sign that piece of paper. But let's just get back to the core of the relationship. The feminine energy, the masculine energy come together and relax.
love each other. 100%. Come at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Mm, that's, always, that's always good. Well, guys, thank you for coming. I think we've had a really interesting chat. And um, I think we've learnt a lot. And I think other people will be able to take something from this and, you know, understand each other a bit more as the male and as the female. So mm-hmm. thank you for coming, guys. No problem. Okay. Yeah, Are that's how I would be happy with that. Yeah, having like five different, having five girlfriends at once. Yeah, that's the way I see it. See, I have a thing. I have a thing about this. So the whole polygamy thing, yeah. I don't have a problem with it. But so that's, so that's polyamorous. That's not. That's yeah. not polygamy. No, but polygamy is if you're married. So it's got a certificate with it. So no, there wasn't the certification side. But yeah. they, do you get me? It's it's just. It's not so, for me. I never want that for myself. So no, I'm not entertaining that argument at all. Women might accept it a little well, bit. I was, a little bit I was, more, it might I was, be easier yeah. on the panel. Well, look what the is doing. Getting different girls after. pregnant in the same couple month, and all these girls are taking patern- like pregnancy pictures with Nick Cannon, and everyone's happy. Yeah, it's, everyone's it's all happy. Because he got the money. Yeah, he's got the money. Way. If I can't afford to do that for for a man, that sort of you know, to be with one woman, that's not normal. That's not a natural instinct to be with one woman. That's the man's making a big effort.